The Camino de Santiago is an ancient pilgrimage route that has been traveled by millions of people for over a thousand years. For many, walking the Camino is a life-changing experience, a test of endurance and a chance to connect with something greater than themselves. I'm Sandy. And I'm Jeff. Join us on our epic journey as we attempt to walk over 500 miles across Spain. So we just arrived in the small town of saint jean pied de port France for a very special reason. This video is probably the most surreal video that we're gonna make. We are here for the Camino de Santiago. So if you have been watching for a while, you will might remember that our channel actually started on the Camino de Santiago five years ago. We have been wanting to come back ever since, so we are beyond happy to be here and doing this for the second time. First stop is gonna be the Pilgrim's Office for our credential and maybe pick up a shower too. Okay, so we just finished up in the Pilgrim's office. When we first got off the bus, it was packed and there was quite a line, so we roamed around a little bit and came back, and thankfully it was much shorter and we got right in. But we were able to pick up a few things while we were here. First, we've got our credential with our very first stamp, and we also picked up these shells, which we will put on our backpack to carry along the way. They also gave us lots of great information, basically kind of a map that shows the different elevation of the different segments of the hike, as well as all the albergues along the way, so we can kind of better plan so we're not going to start the Camino until tomorrow morning and planning makes me hungry so everything makes me hungry. So let's go find something to eat. So we just finished eating at Come a la Maison. It's an Italian restaurant in a small French town but let me tell you their pasta was amazing. Sandy had some pesto ravioli. I tried it. It was absolutely delicious and for lack of a better term I had a mac and cheese. <laughs> it was incredible. We also had bruschetta as a starter which I would highly recommend. Very tasty place. So after lunch, we took a quick walk around town, taking in the beautiful views in the mountains and these really cool city walls. If you get a chance, take a stroll up on the walls. They have little ramparts leading up to them. It's a really nice little walk. We also had to grab a few supplies. We got some new ponchos because apparently there is going to be a lot of rain over the next four days. And apparently a local shop makes granola bars that are Camino specific. So if you're here, they have the shell on them, you have to buy them. It's Camino if it's got a shell. We are now back at our little apartment that we got for the night. It's um, actually at a place called Villa Espanda and it's really cute and more than enough for what we need. All right guys, we're gonna pack up and get ready for tomorrow for day number one. We're walking. Good morning. Here we are. <laughs> so a little bit of a little bit of nerves going on this morning. I don't know why, but I mean we've done it before, but like you just never know what's gonna happen on the second time. I mean it is a long way. We're talking well over five hundred miles to get to Santiago, at least a month's journey. It's sometimes very emotional and overwhelming to even start something this big. All right, let's go. Just stopped at a little bread shop here in St. Jean for exiting the city gates, but they have a baguette vending machine. We didn't get one from here, but we just got one from inside. Gonna definitely need some snacks for the hike. So we've started our trek up and over the Pyrenees and we are only going to the little town of Orison today, which is about eight kilometers from St. Jean. And we are approximately halfway there now, but let me tell you, this is up, up. And just when you think there's no more up, there's lots more up. If you see the road behind Sandy, we came all the way from down there. We came there. all the way from down there. So what is it, like 3,000 feet? I think that's the total elevation gain that we have over the next two days crossing the Pyrenees. So I'm not really sure how much we've done at this point, but um, I think it's about 3,000 total over the top and into Spain. The views out here have been stunning so far though. The weather has been holding up, although it's supposed to start raining around noon. So Yeah, maybe at 11, so it's 1030. So we don't have much time before we may be throwing those ponchos on that we just bought. <laughs> Okay, so 
The Napoleon route is no joke. It is super steep. We are a I'm really tired. Oh, I almost stepped in some poop. You're gonna see a lot of that on this road. But ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to Orison, and that is a sight for sore eyes. It's all good. Okay, welcome to our first night's accommodations. We got a private room because if y'all didn't know, we fancy. We're not very fancy. There does not appear to be any lights. I think we have electricity to charge our stuff, but that is about it. And no heat, and it's supposed to be pretty cold tonight, I think, so up here yeah. in the mountains. Luckily, they gave us lots of blankets. All right, well. There's some more up there. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Day two. Just to fill you in, we ate dinner about 6.30 last night. We didn't film it because Orson does have a tradition water. Everyone goes around and uh, says where they're from and why they're hiking the Camino. Now, the second part can get really personal and uh, really emotional, so, and they're not our story. So we're not gonna film that without people's permission. Anyway, this morning kind of started off crazy. Uh, we had breakfast. It started snowing like, like you wouldn't believe. Now that we're hiking, Snow has stopped, it's chilly, but uh, we're good spirits. We're feeling okay, you know? We feel like we got hit by a truck. Yeah, that's the way you're supposed to feel when you climb up this stuff. Okay, so next stop, Ron Savias. Au revoir, Orison. So, have you ever just had one of those days? Um, it's about 70 degrees and sunny right now. In Nowhere my, near it. No. So there wasn't supposed to be this much accumulation. Um, but here we are. But here we are. And it's beautiful, but it is definitely pelting our faces as we are coming up the side of the mountain. So the good news is, is that you may hear some of this because the wind is absolutely roaring right now. If not, then, well, I don't know. Subtitles, yes. All right, so we just crossed the French and Spanish border and we are officially in Spain. And we found an awesome water fountain so we can refill our water. But everybody kind of stopped here, a little celebration that we're crossing over into Spain. Uh, and we are about halfway to our bed for the night. So we still got a ways to go. There's still snow, but it's beautiful guys. Like it can be dangerous coming over here if it's really, really bad, but it's just enough to make it absolutely gorgeous and still safe enough to do it. Fingers crossed because we still are half a half way to go, but we better get back to it. I know we haven't shown you a lot. It's been kind of crazy out here. We spent because we couldn't see much more than snow either. <laughs> no, so. But we made it to the highest point and we're now working our way down into Roncevaya. So this is a down here hill portion, which is a nice change of muscle usage. So it feels like it's just sleeting now and not snowing. Yeah. Uh, the road is actually clear. So that's pretty awesome. It's definitely not as heavy of snow as it was and it's definitely thinned out. We were walking on snow for a good portion. The road here does seem to be clear. Um, so now we just need to make it down to Roncevaya and I think there might be a refreshment awaiting us. Oh, there definitely is. <laughs> there definitely is. Okay, somehow we survived day two. We are in Ron Savias and we're actually not going to the Abergay. We're getting a private room. Um, at the hotel, cause we earned it. And we figure you have to treat yourself every once in a while. <laughs> yes, we're wet, we're tired and hungry. So I have a ham sandwich in here that we got from Orson that you can pay to pick up in the morning. And the weather was so terrible, we haven't eaten it. So ham sandwich. You're going down. I'm coming for you, bud. I'm coming for you. Ham sandwich, it's on. Ham sandwich. That would be perfect. Right. On the next episode of Wonderful Revolution, our journey across Spain continues.
So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a single step. Until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.